looking at the at the broom and thinking about this new design I already tried one thing and I just sort of slopping it together and thinking to myself you know it's just not looking good that crap that you see there in the back was sort of me tinker toying around just slapping pieces on here and there to have a makeshift fitting <clears throat> and I just uh, finished taking that off thinking to myself I really want to do it nicer okay um, so if you remember one of the things that I needed to do was I needed to have the whole thing sit out a little bit further from the tractor because before it was sitting a little too close um, it was sitting too close right <clears throat> you know if you can imagine the broom coming back and forth here when I would try to tilt the broom one way or the other, um, it was uh, it was hitting into the back of the tractor, right? If I tried to tilt it, it was sort of uh, getting too close to the tires. And so now um, I'm just thinking about the design a little bit more, and I'm going to have it sit back a little bit more. I was looking at the at the comb that I have outside here. Uh, that thing right there, you know, it's got that comb on the bottom of it and you can see that it sticks way out and on the top there it's got a little uh, hinge, a little pin that you can, you know, pivot that thing around on. So I'm getting, and you can see, you know, the three-point hitch where it hooks up to the three-point hitch is right there behind this dealie. And, <clears throat> you know, so you can see that thing sticks out quite a ways from the back of the tractor. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I want to do with the with the broom. Maybe not quite as far as that comb, but uh, so over here, this is the three-point hitch laying down. <clears throat> and uh, what I did was I welded this, uh, I welded that uh, four by four piece of steel on there uh, to give me some reach, right? And on that four by four piece of steel, I am going to uh, I'm going to put a receiver, okay, uh, a, a round receiver. I've got it sitting around here somewhere, <clears throat> and into that round receiver, this pin right here will go, all right, and that will uh, allow me to pivot around with that pin, okay. So <clears throat> you're gonna have to use your imagination with me on this. Uh, so from here, I'm gonna come up and then come across and then down, right? So I'm going to have, you know, some steel angle iron right there, okay? And on the bottom, coming out from the bottom of that uh, piece of steel that's coming across, I'm going to put that pin right there, okay? So that pin uh, will be sticking down off of the, uh, off of that thing that goes around that I'm going to put on there, okay? So when I back the tractor up to it, okay, I'm going to have the receiver sitting right there on that thing. And when I lift the three-point hitch underneath of it, it will just pick up that whole thing. So I'm cutting the 12-inch pieces now. And uh, to my friend who always says, I wish I could see you weld or do something or do that, because I want to see you screw up and then make fun of you. Well, I definitely screw up a lot, so I'll probably get your chance right here. piece that'll work. Those are the pieces that are going to go up and then I have a piece that goes across. Okay, 
Those things are, uh, these little vertical pieces are tacked on now. And I'm going to put the piece going across the top of it. If I did it right, it should be close to uh, 32 inches. Well, 32 inches ideally. should be where it should be. And I'm a little bit short, I guess. But it'll work. Yeah. Close enough, though. So that's going to be the 32 inches will be, I'm going to cut a piece, and that's going to go across the top there. So i got this receiver on. This is the, uh, the piece that comes off the three-point hitch here. And then uh, it comes down to where this little uh, receiver is, and it's got a spike in it right now. Okay, I've got that spike in there just to keep, because uh, I just welded it on there, and uh, I don't want it to deform at all. Man, that's hot, I can feel it. Um, so I put that spike in there just to uh, keep it round, okay? And then uh, over here on the broom part, I've also got a round thing, okay? So the idea here is that this round thing, okay, is going to have this spike sticking up out of it about four inches, okay? And so it will go down under, when I back the tractor up, it'll go down under this thing, you know, uh, about right there. And then I lift it up and it gets right into there, right? Not a... Uh, not an extreme quick attach in the John Deere way, but this thing only cost me 700 bucks, and I'm playing around with it. I'm having fun with it. I'm not really, uh, I don't know what the word is. <clears throat> I didn't want to go out and spend a whole bunch of money on one that I wouldn't use because it's too hard to exchange, you know, put in and put out on my tractor with the mower deck on there. Um, and the quick attached thing underneath the mower would always have to come on and off. So this three-point hitch option, um, it was fun to build. And I'll be ready to try it out in a little bit. I had to extend, I've got a couple of pieces of this. Um, you know, that's the thing that comes off the PTO. Um, and I've got to extend it now. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Rather than buying a new one, I think I've got some pieces in here I can sort of put together right here. Yeah, so there's a nice big piece there. All right, and it's got that thing in the middle of it. So, uh, it's all greasy. So, um... Okay, that's cutting at uh, just a little bit over 10 inches. That's going to give me uh, 8 inches on this one, or 4 inches. 4 inches on this, ooh, Chet's still hot. <laughs> 4 inches on that one, uh, so that'll be 8. And then I'm going to weld the top of it to this. That's going to be uh, a half inch, and then I'll weld the bottom of it as well. Um, to this one and that will attach that thing permanently uh, <clears throat> that'll attach these two permanently and allow it to swivel right there and I'm figuring uh, you know that's still what these things are made for I'm just kind of making it up but the thing I like is uh Let's see here if I can do this. This thing right here, um, you know, that's a little uh, thing that you can screw in and so that you can sort of anchor your, I uh, can't remember what you call that thing, anchor your, uh, you know, your deal so that it 
you know, your shaft is hooked into this thing and it doesn't... Anyway, I'm going to use that as a uh, greaser. I've got the uh, grease thing I'll stick in there, I believe. Looky here. So, this thing, this broom, is on there. Just like I was thinking. Uh, it quick attaches right here and right here is the pivot point right so the broom can go back and forth here see there um, take it over even further here <coughs> Yeah, so it's not coming close to the tires at all. And, uh, you know, I jostled it around, and it seems to be, you know, the tractor shakes when this thing shakes. So this thing is good and sturdy. Um, what else? So now I've got to put on the uh, PTO. <clears throat> and just looking at that, I'm wondering, I hope I have enough find out here in a minute. Alright, so here's another update on this thing. I pretty much have it. Everything seems to be working fine. A couple little things, I ran out of welding wire. I still have some, but I'm too anxious. I don't want to put it on yet and weld this put this little thing on here. This allows me to tilt it and I use this pin here uh, in one of these three holes here to set it depending on what angle I, I want, left or right or just in the middle. And I haven't tried it out yet. So here goes the big, the big try. Well, there you go, it works. Now, just a few little touches, you know, put something around that chain so that uh, dogs don't get the tails caught in it. And, uh, you know, I might put some, uh, some wheels on it to, uh, just to keep it from, you know, to, to keep it level with the ground. But, you know, I kind of like it that way. I, may, I probably won't put the wheels on. I'm going to try it out for a little while first. So, uh, that's it. That's the uh, homemade broom for the uh, John Deere. The three-point hitch homemade broom.